Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and a few weeks ago, our next guest was here to talk about how she has turned her personal agony and despair of an abusive attack into a platform for helping others. Today, she is here at the table to further that conversation. Please welcome a woman of bravery and strength and the author of Yellow Tulip, Tulips on a Cloudy Day, Christy Sin. Yay! Yay. So glad Hi, to have you back. We're so excited. Yes. We got to have her back down yes. to the table. Yes. I didn't expect to be back. This yes. Day. Well, that's how good you were and how impactful you were. Absolutely. Yeah, and for those people much. who may have missed that uh, amazing interview, tell us about your story and what you went through. Okay, so five years, a little over five years ago, I was leaving a relationship and I told the guy that I did not want to get married. He was really obsessive about getting married. We weren't engaged. Mm -hmm. I was just definitive about not marrying him. You know, mm -hmm. he was controlling. He was possessive, he was jealous, and um, I just didn't feel right about it anymore. And so I told him, and I guess he decided, you know what, if she's not gonna marry me, she's not gonna marry anybody. So he threw acid in my face. Mm -hmm. um, covered 20% of my body, blinded me. I was blind for four months. Mm -hmm. Miraculously got my eyesight mm -hmm. back, had, and then had to fight for two years to get him put away because yes. he designed, it was methodical, it wasn't right. a crime of passion. He planned it as an acid attack, something that's a global issue, and he made it like an accident. So we had to prove that it wasn't, and mm. it was proven that it was not. So oh, two years, and he got 20 years. He's, he's behind bars for 20 years. Well, Amen. 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 So. Deserves to be right where he is. I know Absolutely. That's why, Christy, I, you know, the last time you were here, I, I was... I, I, it, it made me think about the Time's Up and Me Too movement and how people, you know, we kind of throw that, that term around, not, not uh, on purpose to be, you know, very frivolous, but we, we throw it around with not understanding how serious um, situations can become in the Time's Up movement. Mm -hmm. So I feel like harassment kind of starts there and then it can trickle into something as terrible as domestic abuse. Right. What are some of the signs that women can look for um, in, while they're in these situations to kind of prevent them from going through um, domestic violence? I think if people truly understood the definition of domestic violence, it's yes. not just physical. Mine wasn't yes. physical until that day. Right. Mm -hmm. Domestic violence includes verbal abuse, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, financial mm -hmm. abuse, mm -hmm. sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. um, and some of those, some of the um, characteristics are isolation. You know, they get to the point where they try to isolate you from everybody that cares mm -hmm. about you. And that's something that I didn't even, he did it to me and I didn't even realize it. Mm -hmm. You know, I looked up and I hadn't been with my family and my friends as much. Because they, they always find a reason why you need to be with them, yeah. controlling behavior. He wanted to monitor, I'm a shapely woman, so he had something to say about everything that I wore. Mm. You know, um, wanted to control what I wore. I wouldn't let him, but you know, they, still those are the signs. Right. Controlling behavior, jealous. If I even looked mm -hmm. out of the corner of my eye at another man, that was a two hour long conversation. Oh my God. Oh, wow. um, in the beginning, control sometimes feels like love. Love, yes. yeah. Because it's a lot of attention. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, he would call me sometimes 25 times a day. In fact, Ooh. a few days before he did this to me, he called me because I wouldn't answer the phone. I had fallen asleep. He called me 25 times in a two hour period. That's stalking. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so those were the signs. Um, controlling behavior, jealous behavior, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse. People don't understand that 99% of all, people say why they stay, 99% of all women stay in the relationship because of finances. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because one of the things that they do is they put you in a situation where you're totally dependent upon them. It mm -hmm. wasn't my case, mm -hmm. but it's the case in 99%. Oh my god. So goodness. it stems from control mm -hmm. on yes. all levels. It's about con power and control. Even the act of dousing me with acid was to control my life. He, yeah. he turned my entire life upside down. Yes. So you know what, you're not gonna marry me, guess what, you're not gonna marry anybody, you're not gonna have a job. I lost my job, I lost everything. I almost lost my house, everything, because I couldn't work. Right. right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so that was his last Ugh. piece of control. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's about power and control. I really hope That's somebody right. is dealing with him in jail. I think every time that commercial pops up, they probably are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Definitely well, God is. You know, Chris, why do you think that people stay? Why do you think a lot of times that women stay in those types of relationships? You know, we talked a little bit about money, and I know a lot of times men will try to have a stronghold on you with the purse strings. But why? Why are? What are some other reasons that a woman would stay in a relationship like that? Well, like I said, 99% stay because of finances. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of them don't have anywhere to go. Mm. Um, th some other reasons. The children, they use sometimes the children against the woman. I'm mm -hmm. gonna take your children, mm -hmm. or I'm gonna kill your family. They make mm. threats against your family. And you know the other thing? Because if, especially they've already been abusive, 
they threaten your life. They're mm -hmm. terrified. They're mm -hmm. thinking, you know what, if I don't get away and stay away, he's going to kill me. Mm -hmm. And they do mm -hmm. a lot of the time. Yes. 75% of all reported cases of domestic violence happen when the person is leaving the relationship. Mm -hmm. When they're leaving. Yes. yes. Well, so you just got to know how to leave, though. You just yeah. It's gotta easier gotta, said yeah, than, yeah. 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 But I'm just simply saying, you want to do it in, a, in the safest way possible. Yes. Absolutely. Especially I got when you. they have displayed yes. some of those yeah. behaviors. Yes. Yes. Let's talk about your adv advocacy for a moment. Let's talk about uh, you in supporting Marcy's Law. Okay, so I came on board. There's been a team, um, this, this law didn't just happen. They've been fighting for two years to even get this to Congress, to mm. Georgia Congress. So we passed Congress, the House Representatives, in April, I believe. I came on in February. I presented my case to the House of Representatives, Georgia House of Representatives. They listen, um, but there's a whole team, Ann Costas is the state director, Tamiko Lara Pugh, yeah, Kimia Motley, yeah. um, Harlan Rawls, Latasha Renee Howard. They've been working, so I don't want people to think that this is something that right. I did. Yeah. They've what, been working for two Mar years. What is Marcy's law? Marcy's law is a crime victim's rights law, and it gives victims constitutional rights that criminals have. We don't have the same wow. rights as criminals. Wow. We don't have the same rights as criminals. Oh we don't have goodness. the right to notification. I was never notified of any hearings. This man bailed in, bailed, finally got charged after a year, um, made bail, and was walking around free, and nobody called me and told me he was free. Wow. That put my life in danger. Marcy's yeah. Law is going to change that. Okay, yeah. good. And this is not just domestic violence. This is not just violent crime. It's any felony. Anybody can be the victim of a crime. Right. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, yeah, allow Chrissy to continue to speak with us yes. in our next break, so stay exactly where you are. More with Chrissy Sims when we return on Sister Circle yes. Live.